So here we are at the top end, the east end of Rob Street. Right, that's the border cricket ground. That's Shivnarayan Chandra Paul Drive or New Garden Street looking east or looking south. This is Shivnarayan Chandra Paul Drive, New Garden Street looking north. And that's Rob Street looking west. So we're going to go down Rob Street. Oh, this is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. Because someone requested the east end of Rob Street, we already saw the western end, the western half of Rob Street. This is the well-known Catholic Church at the corner of Rob Street and Shivnarine Chandra Paul Drive. And this end of Rob Street is in fact the home of several international organizations and residences of expatriates. You can see some of the colonial houses, the colonial architecture still standing. All right, the famous shutters, the famous Bermuda shutters, the storm shutters. They're famous in Guyana, but were classic part of our colonial architecture. This is Conservation International. On the right, and these are residences, some of them renovated uh, to make them taller. This is the Guyana. National Commission for UNESCO. So this is the United Nations uh, building. Another classic colonial style building. And this is Oranok Street. Oranok Street looking north towards Queenstown. And Oranok Street looking South. So this part of morning, Rob Street is still quite residential and less commercial than the other half, the western half on the other side of Camp Street. But you can see a lot of the buildings are still combination of residential and commercial morning building so here is a play school and the building ahead is that tall building is being built by Chinese businessmen in Guyana and so they have a presence here on Rob Street as well both uh, from uh, Living and doing business, living in the area and doing business in the neighborhood. So, this is Rob Street. The Duke Center. This is a metaphysical church. So, mixed in between the homes and businesses, there are churches. Morning. This is also a new building, in fact, recently constructed within the last year, year and a half or so. And it's a combination of uh, shops. And here we are at the corner of Albert Street. 
at Albert Street looking south and at Albert Street looking north at Rob Street intersection of Rob Street so this is Rob Street on a Wednesday morning and we're moving from the east end towards the border market we're about three blocks away from the border market area and this is the block between Albert Street and Light Street you can see further renovations are going on here to what used to be residential buildings and now being converted to commercial buildings there are taxi service companies in some of these buildings and some of this in this area and still residences on Rob Street the tall building is a major supermarket and famous supermarket here in Georgetown Nigel's they have a quite impressive story to tell this is another uh, place for a hangout for Brazilians so this is Rob Street and this is Nigel's supermarket at the intersection of Light Street and Rob Street so this is Light Street this is Light Street looking north and we've seen Light Street before and that's Light Street looking south at the corner of Rob Street and Light Street and again it gets more commercial as you move towards Camp Street there are still residences, residential buildings in which people live, but they're quickly being renovated, purchased, and converted into commercial buildings as we get closer to the center of the city. So it's only a matter of time until all of these residences eventually get snapped up and converted into commercial buildings so 30 years ago this might have been morning, a residential part of the city but now as you can see it's becoming increasingly and exclusively commercial these are hotels on Rob Street and let me go, let me go. Sure. Say hi to my New York and London and Toronto uh, viewers. Hello. What's your name? Tiffany. Good morning from jo Georgetown. Hi. So, this is the commercial part of Rob Street as you go closer to the border market. Most of the buildings have some commercial use. They are wholesale stores and retail stores and hotels and food stores. So, come now to the intersection of Rob Street and Cumming Street. So, this is one of the streets we haven't seen before. We will in fact. Uh, explore sometime in the future. That's Cumming Street looking north towards Albert Town. And this is Cumming Street looking south. So we'll continue on Rob Street. The next intersection takes us to the beginning of Border Market. But as you can see, some major buildings have been constructed on Rob Street. This is another commercial building, a commercial wholesale 
space but we still have some uh, smaller residential buildings uh, still being lived in here on Rob Street so this wholesale store was built I think in the last 10 years or so they were still completing it when I came back three years ago and now they sell office furniture so this is a bicycle store as we approach the corner of Rob Street and Orange Walk so this is the beginning of the border market that is Orange Walk looking north and it becomes East Street once it crosses over Church Street and that is Orange Walk looking south so at this point we're going right through the border market Rob Street passes through the border market so this is the old market building on the left and these are stalls on the right and the stalls extend all the way to North Road and the market building on the south extends all the way to Regent Street and Rob Street in the middle of the day every day becomes part of the market at this point and so their cars drive through Rob Street at this point specifically to do shopping as they drive it's one of the oldest drive through shopping streets where people would stop and purchase from these vendors on the sides of the road so it's still early it's still early on Wednesday morning and the vendors are not all out yet but this is what the market looks like before it becomes fully operational in the middle of the day you'd be hardly able to walk through the crowds on Rob Street at this point so at this point it's mostly commercial the buildings are still lived in but they all have some commercial use as well and usually related to market sales there you go so this is Rob Street these vehicles coming in from the Esequibo and from the countryside every day bringing in morning produce from the country to be sold at the market so this is how produce gets shipped in every day fresh produce brought in from the countryside to be sold here this is Alexander Street famous Mike's Pharmacy at the corner of Alexander Street and Rob Street still standing and this is a new store a new grocery store Diana Marketing Corporation and Alexander Street looking north where it becomes Thomas Street as it goes over Church Street so this is Rob Street this is the middle of Rob Street now approaching Camp Street this is a teleperformance building two buildings that have been built recently to house the telemarketing company which is a the newest industry growth industry in Guyana telemarketing and so these two buildings have been built to house telemarketers in Guyana and they're at the corner of Rob Street and Camp Street newest high-rise additions to the city so this part of Rob Street like the western half 
is now almost completely commercial so every building has some kind of commercial use although there might still be residents living in the upper floors and as we come to Cam Street you will begin to see familiar buildings because we've covered those in previous videos if you want to see the other half of Rob Street you can look at my previous video on Rob Street walk with me on Rob Street this building is still being finished but some of the tenants have already moved in in fact since I last filmed the video here Teleperformance on the right gt and telephone company has moved one of their offices into the building and a few food vendors are also there now so this is Camp Street intersection of Camp Street and Rob Street we've seen this intersection before so we're gonna close this video at this point if you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe in the comments below tell me where else in the city or in Guyana you'd like us to visit and later